And if you're on chemotherapy and you have cancer, again, nutritional supplementation is extra important. The more drugs we're on, the sicker we are, aside from the sickness we're taking the drugs from. The more drugs we're on, the more toxed out we are. And this is above and beyond the disease that we're taking the drugs for in the first place. Hepatitis as well. Hepatitis affects four or five million people in this country and it'll cost you $1,000 a pill for Harvoni and, and uh, Sol, Solvani, Solvani or I forgot the, the other one drug is called. $1,000 a dose, $12,000 a year, $15,000 a year for the, the newer one. Doctors will tell you there's five, there are five or six different types of hepatitis. A, B, C, E, F, G. It doesn't matter. Hepatitis is an inflamed liver. Hepatitis. Hepa, hepa, hepatic means liver. Itis means inflamed. It's an it's a, uh, inflamed liver. And it doesn't matter if it's hepatitis A or hepatitis B or C or E or F or G from a healing perspective. From a healing perspective, you got a liver problem. From a healing perspective, you got to do this. If you have hepatitis, hep C or whatever, which only differ by the, the, the type of virus, but in effect, they're the same thing. If you have a liver problem, you gotta do the same thing that somebody with cirrhosis of the liver has to do. Same things an alcoholic has to do. The same thing a diabetic has to do. The same thing we all have to do, and that's keep our liver healthy. The liver's doing four, uh, four to 500 different functions is performed by this four pound, four or five pound organ in the body. How is this possible? And when we say liver, by the way, you know, it's easy to think of this, you know, piece of flesh or piece of tissue inside our bodies. We've all seen what liver looks like. Ours is pretty much the same, except it's bigger as a chicken liver or beef liver. But what we don't see is the tremendous, absolutely mind-blowing amount of blood circulation that's going through the liver. All the blood in the body goes through the liver. It is incredibly vascular. Even more fundamentally, what we don't see are liver cells. When I say the liver is performing four or 500 different functions, which is mind blowing enough, what I'm really talking about is a liver cell. A liver cell that's one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin is somehow intelligent enough to know which of the, one, which of the 500 different functions it's supposed to be performing at any given time. And it's performing these many of these hundreds of different, different functions in a parallel fashion at the same time. How is this even possible, you guys? The, the, the staggering, mind-blowing, slack-jawed amazingness of the human body is exemplified in the hepatocyte, the liver cell. The lowly little liver cell, which is invisible to the naked eye, somehow or another, is streaming out 500 different types of chemicals and storing 500 different types of chemicals and performing 500 different uh, functions from, from processing vitamins to making protein to detoxifying hormones and drugs to clearing out uh, crap that we've eaten in our food. I mean, this stuff is amazing. That's, if, that's, if everything I just said is not a reason to love your liver, I don't know what is. And if that's not a reason to get, not a reason to get on a nutritional supplement program featuring fat-soluble vitamins and the B-complex and vitamin C and liver nutrients like the Healthy Star Pack, I don't know what is. All right, we'll be back with your phone calls on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges, or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, we're talking liver health and hepatitis and vitamin E from the journal Cell Metabolism, dated October, uh, December 10th of this year, December 10th, 2015. Liver hormone reduces preference for sweets, alcohol via the brain's reward pathway. It turns out that deficiencies in certain hormones in the liver will give us a sweet tooth. When we're under stress, especially deficiencies in this hormone in combination with cold temperature, for example, any kind of environmental stress will increase our desire to eat sweets. Stress and sweet eating go hand in hand. Many of, many of us know this. I find it myself. If I have a mild stress, I'm going for the sweets or the carbs anyway. Pasta, potatoes, bread. How much of our addiction to sugar and sweets and bread is really a manifestation of a coping mechanism? We've talked in the past about how 
uh, cravings for sweets involve serotonin. Low serotonin will increase sugar cravings. Environmental stress will do the same thing. Any kind of stress as well. Eating sweets is stress management, really. And, and sweets, again, is cereal, cereal and breads, etc. But if we could get more nutritional value from our sweets, we may not be as, uh, we might not be as addicted. We may not be as, as significant or as serious as the carboholics that we are. That means the B vitamins and vitamin E and vitamin C and the healthy start pack and getting on nutritional supplements. This is the perfect time of year, you guys. New Year's resolution time. If, you're, if, you're, if weight loss or controlling eating behavior is part of any, has anything to do with your New Year's resolution, call 866-735-2470. Get on the healthy start pack. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You owe it to yourself to at least try it. At least just the BTT. Just the BTT. If you have a New Year's resolution to lose weight or you have a New Year's resolution to somehow control your eating behavior in any way, eat less sugar, eat less fat, eat less processed food, eat less, get on the BTT. Watch what happens. If you're like 99% of the people who start the program and, and sip on the BTT, by the way, don't try to do it all at one shot. Sip on the BTT. If you're like 99% of people who, who get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, really any nutritional supplements, and haven't been on it before, you will notice you're eating less food and craving less carbs, less sugary foods, less sweet foods, in, in part because you're reducing the stress on your body. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll talk about hepatitis tomorrow, uh, continue talking about vitamin E, and then I want to get into some hormones for the skin as well. Specifically, a hormone that is, uh, if, you've, if you've listened to this program, you know all about, because we talk about it a lot, pregnenolone, but not one you hear a lot about from the mainstream, which is unfortunate because it's very valuable. Very valuable for the liver, by the way, and very valuable for the skin, and very valuable in general, just for all-around health. We'll talk about that in the coming days on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Wesley in Idaho. Good morning. What's up, Wes? Hello, Pharmacist Ben. Hey, uh, what's going on? I heard you talking about multiple sclerosis yesterday. Okay. Wanted to know if you knew of a Dr. Cicero Cambra of Brazil. He says that 1,100 of his multiple sclerosis cases, 95 of them have been cured with 1,000 vitamin D units per kilogram of body weight. Also, here's something recent from Cambridge University. This work provides significant evidence that vitamin D is involved in regeneration of myelin once the disease has started. In the case of Dr. Cicero, he likes to push up the amount of vitamin D till their para hormone uh, is down to the bottom of normal. Uh, Parathyroid hormone. Parathormone is what he says. Understand this is Brazil where the language down there is. Right. Well, here's the deal. Here's the deal, Wes. Here's the deal, buddy. Let me let me let me tell you, my, give you my take on this. Okay, first of all, if you have MS, and doc, I haven't heard of this guy in Brazil, Doctor Cicero. If he says he's going to cure you with vitamin D, uh, then great, and go get it. And I would be doing everything I could do if I had MS. But here's the problem with that: the way I look at it, doctors love to cure. It's a God complex. We cure this. We give you this. We're the cure. And if you're a smart doctor, then you'll say, I cure it with a vitamin. If you're a dumb doctor, you'll say, I cure it with a drug. Actually, no doctors will ever say that. But, but they'll say, we'll give you a drug to reduce your symptoms. So smarter doctors say, we're, we'll cure you. This idea of curing the body with doctoring just doesn't make sense from a biochemical perspective. And it smacks of, of taking the power away from humanity, from human beings, from individuals, and putting it into some authority. I don't buy it. MS is an autoimmune disease, all right? Right, Wes? You're a smart guy. Yeah, it's an yeah, autoimmune I'm, disease. I'm, they, hang on, I'm, let me finish, bro. Let me just finish this, and then I'll let, and then I'll let you... I want to hear what you have to say, but let me just finish this. So it's an autoimmune disease. The immune system is jacked up. Now, is vitamin D involved? Of course it is. Vitamin D is a... It's the, the vitamin of health, and there's so many things that vitamin D does for the body, it's really not even a vitamin. It's a hormone of health. It upregulates strength and vitality and the immune system and brain health and bone health. It builds. It's, the, it's your summertime, good times, happy time vitamin. 
You follow me? It's the vitamin that we get from the sun. It's the vitamin of the good times. It's the vitamin that helps us uh, grow and become vital and thrive and be everything a human being can be, and that includes the immune system. So, of course, vitamin D is going to improve MS symptoms, and, of course, vitamin D is going to lead vitamin D deficiency is going to uh, uh, raise the risk or raise the potential of autoimmune disease, obviously, if you know anything about vitamin D. But does it follow that vitamin D cures MS? I have my doubts. In other words, according to this doctor, you can eat all the food you want. You can eat all the Brazilian pasta and Brazilian French fries and Brazilian burgers that you want. But I got the cure because I'm the doctor and I'm going to give you some vitamin D. Go about your life and we'll cure your MS. That doesn't that, that doesn't make sense and that's not how the body works and this is the problem with magical cures whether they're cancer formulas and or, or vitamin d injections or whatever kind of, and i hear these things all the time now if this guy is saying i cured ms and people have vitamin get injected with vitamin d and they no longer have ms more power to them and i hope that's true it just doesn't make sense from a biochemical perspective. If people got injected with vitamin D and their MS went away, praise God. I think that's awesome, awesome news. But it doesn't make sense from a biochemical perspective. And that's all I'd say. And I'd have to talk to Dr. Cicero. Uh, to, I, I'd like to hear what he has to say. Because that seems common sense the way I just explained it. I'd have to hear how Dr. Cicero would explain that away. Go ahead, Wes. I'm sorry. What were you going to say? There are three that are trans, um, interviews on YouTube that are translated into English subtitles. There's also probably two dozen interviews on there uh, that are still in the Portuguese language. I can't understand what okay. they're saying. But uh, now, what's his name, Wes? What's the guy's name? Cicero. Uh, C Cicero Combra. C O I M. B R A. Okay, good. I'm going to uh, look that up, and I'll and I'll I'll, I'll talk about it here in the, the in the, the coming days. The the five percent that he can't cure, he suspects they're people smoking cigarettes. Okay. Also, he will not do double blind studies because he is too uh, concerned, compassionate. It says. Uh, hey, Wes, we got we got a commercial coming up, Wes. I got to go, but thank you so much for the for the tip. I appreciate it. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Cicero Coimbra, academic research, uh, academic researcher. It's all over the internet. You're right, Wes. If you're listening, thank you for that tip. I'm going to give that guy a listen. I mean to downplay. I mean to sound rude to this guy or, or anybody who supports Dr. Cicero Coimbra's work. I just am, I have a problem with the whole cure mentality. We cure this. It's not like you cure things. You don't even cure things with nutrition. You give the body what it needs, which is the essential nutrients, and then the body does the work. The divine force does the curing. This idea that we cure with a vitamin, we cure with a drug, we cure with a protocol, we cure, it's just glorifying human technologies and human strategies which created the mess in the first place. How do you know you're not going to overload the body with, with vitamin D? Vitamin D is not, not meant to be injected. It's a medicine at that point. All right. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Let's go to the great Northwest and talk to Carl the Truth Raider. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Benjamin. I'm hanging in there. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having me on the show once again. So it's, yes. uh, thank you for calling. It's a delight. I have a success story to, to tell you this morning. Yes. I was in contact with a lady who uh, is having some personal hardships in her now, life right now. Now, hang on, hang on, Carl. Is this the lady we, you and I have been talking about? Yes. Did I tell you, did I say, didn't I guarantee you, did I not guarantee you results? Guarantee, 100% <laughs> when you called. Didn't I say that? Because yeah. I knew she would. I, and, I, yeah. and just for the listeners, real quick, Carl, the truth raider, called me a couple, maybe last week or so, and he t had a gal. Uh, he was working with, and she was not healthy, and she had some emotional stuff and mental stuff, and she just didn't look healthy. I said, get her on the BTT, and I'm going, and this is what I said to Carl. I said, Carl, get her on the BTT, and I will guarantee you with 100% certitude, guarantee, she's going to notice results from the BTT. How did I know this? Because I've seen it a zillion times, number one. And number two, because the sicker you are, the faster you get results. And Carl explained this gal as being extremely sick, so I knew she was going to get results and get them fast. 
So go ahead, Carl. Yeah, she reported that she's gained, so far just in the three days of using the sample of the Beyond Tangerine 2.0 Peach Fusion, 